um, if I told if I tell the truth, I think I'd have to say I would much rather be writing at this point in my life. I I feel more um, fulfilled um, if I'm actually writing. Like I can read anything by anyone at any time because it's already there. So I have this innate sense inside that it is incumbent upon me. Like I'm the only one in the universe that can write what I might write. So I feel a greater responsibility to write. Um, reading, it nourishes me and, and fuels me and, you know, activates my imagination. Like, you know, I, it's for me, all reading is synthesis. I'm, I'm taking it, well, reading and just looking at the landscape or traveling, you know, all these things that are sensory input. For me, that's all synthesis. It's just like, how do I, how do I compare these things? How do I cross modulate them? You know, what, what unique combinations can I make of all the sensory input reading and everything else? It's going to come out as writing and only I can write. Recently I was sitting in Carmel Valley <clears throat> having a cup of coffee and I just read the first line of a book, a brand new book I got that I was so excited to read. And I read one line, the first line on the first page of the book. And I was so motivated. I looked up at the sky and the mountain and I just picked up my pencil and started. And I wrote, that's all it took. I, and all I did was write, fill in the whole blank page next to the first page. So that's the kind of motivation. So that's one reason to read because it's the stimulus. Um, and it's more important to me at this point in my life to be writing than it is to read. I love to read and I'll never stop, but it's even more important that I write so that my one unique voice might be captured.